So the first one that we're featuring is this one by Wakafa. And that's Amir Al Oud. It's an oud based scent. Um, can we see the front? Yes, we can see the front. All right, this one is actually that one is my favorite of all Arab colognes. What does that one smell like? Yeah. It, it, that one is actually my favorite. Um, Full disclosure, what we're doing here is sharing our opinion, our own personal opinion about these products after testing and using the products. We are not affiliated with or associated with in any shape or way or benefit from the sales of these products. We're not authorized to give advice on the product or market the product. If you do consume and use the product, you do so at your own risk. It's a lot of vanilla. That's the most prominent scent, just by smelling it off the bottle. Oh, we got our Mises car thing going on, but we, we have to cut paper because we're semi-professional. <laughs> when you spray it on the paper, you smell a lot more of the oud. It's less vanilla, but it's still a very refreshing, very light, not a very heavy scent at all. That, that one, though, uh, the thing with that one is that it lasts forever in my clothes. That, that one, I, I use it quite a bit. One of my favorite, and it kind of lasts forever. Um, it's a good this, baseline scent. Yeah, this is like my third bottle of that same fragrance. Um, this one is pretty good. Could I, could I smell it? Very light, very, very light. Yeah, yeah. It's not that light. Is it? It's sweeter than anything else, it's though. Sweet. It's, it's very sweet. It's not a heavy musk, though. Yeah, the you know who sell it? The company is called Latafa, and what they're known for really is um, Latafa is known for um, taking something that's very famous, like the Creed and stuff, and just mirroring it. Actually, the last place I used this in Philly when I went to visit my cousin. Uh, she confiscated it, and the next day, uh, you know what? This is like, who want to be a millionaire? Call a friend. Let's call a cousin and have a cousin give us her opinion on it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. So with this one, if you want a fragrance that's in the 20, how much does it cost? Around, roughly around 20, right? The most expensive listing I saw was 29, but cool. everything else like on Amazon was cheaper than that. It was about 18. 18, yeah. So if you want a 20 or sub $20 cologne that will last on your clothes Very for sweet. two days or so, you could smell it in the wash. This one is, and it's not overpowering and it's from a company called Latafa. And uh, Latafa makes the best Arab cologne. Uh, let's move on to our honorable mention. What is our honorable mention today? Maybe this one. Ah, uh, that's our honorable mention today. And that one is from Oscar de la Renta. Let me make you get it real good. Poor Lou. How do you pronounce that? L U I. <laughs> good luck. Louis? Louis. Louis? Blue. Blue, I think it's Lou. And it's from Asca de la Renta. And that one is uh, also one of my favorite. It's very subtle. It's a very different scent to the previous one. Yeah, yeah. This one is more like a baby, baby powder in nature. Patchouli. Patchouli. Kind of. It's much more perfumey. It's clean, but it's a clean perfume. Like flowery, not... Yeah, a bit more flowery, not as sweet, more clean. This is a much cleaner scent than this one. This one's more sweet. This one's very clean. Clean and light. It's like baby powder, right? It's better than baby powder. I don't know where you pull baby powder from. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to smell like baby powder? <laughs> no, this is a very clean scent. I, I like this one quite a bit. It's very nice, very nice, very clean. What's the price point? You look up the price point? I didn't look it up. That price point is around twenty-something dollars. You're cheating on your phone? Twenty dollars. All right. Yeah, so it's a good cheap cologne and um, strongly, strongly, strongly endorse and encourage it.